Welcome to the dating game, where love is in the air. Or perhaps that's just the Casa del Tigre. We are downwind, you know. No matter, tonight we will all experience the highs and lows of dating with our contestants, while we watch them fight, for love that is. I'm Lillian Gunseth, and this is The Dating Game. <laughs> before we dive into the question asking. So Bachelorette number one, I hear you've been to Israel. Yes, yeah, I got to go snorkeling in the Red Sea and go swim in the Dead Sea, it was very nice. That's awesome, and why did you go there? Did, did you go for like a missions trip or? Uh, no, just family vacation. Okay, very nice. And Bachelorette number two, so you um, are a golfer, you play golf. I am a golfer, a girl golfer, actually. Ooh, yeah. There you go, GG, girl golfer, yes. <laughs> and how long have you been playing? Uh, since freshman year of high school. Okay, so. that's awesome. And what year are you? I'm a sophomore. Okay, so quite some time you've been playing mm -hmm. golf. And then bachelorette number three, you um, water ski for fun, uh, mm -hmm. but you've been doing it for quite some time. How long? I learned when I was four. Okay, do you have any like cool tricks that you usually do? Nope, I just have more balance in the water than I do on land. Okay, that's pretty nice. So he should get to know you water skiing <laughs> if he picks you for the date. All right, so now that we've gotten to know you ladies a little bit better, um, we're going to take a look at what some Olivet students had to say about dating before we go to meet our bachelor. So take a look. Um, what's one of the best pickup lines you've ever heard or just a go-to one? Okay, my favorite pickup line would be I'd walk up to somebody and I would say, I'd hold up my hand and I'd say, hey, can you hold this while I go for a walk? <laughs> it's like, did it hurt when you fell from heaven? <laughs> uh, I just thought of a really inappropriate one, so I can't do that one. <laughs> I'm tired. Gentlemen, do you have a pickup line you ever use? Uh, will you marry me? Hello. Uh, no. <laughs> I was reading through the book of numbers and I realized that I don't have yours. <laughs> What's a dating don't, Seth? Dating. Don't kiss before you're actually official. Never pay. Welcome, I'm here with our bachelor who is ready to dive in and meet these ladies or meet one of these ladies actually um, and hopes to get a free date to Jimmy John. I already have a free date technically so oh. I'm not worried about that. Yeah, it's guaranteed for you so that's good. That's true. Yes. <laughs> You got me there. I got you. <laughs> All right. So I understand you were born in London, England. Yes. Oh, yeah. Actually, that's not correct. Just England? Uh, Rotherham, England, which is about an hour and 20 minutes south. Okay. So All right. Awesome. It's kind of a slum, so. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Um, so you're ready to meet Mrs. Wright? If she's out there, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's dive into those questions. All right. So my first question is for all three of you. I'm not going to ask a question for a specific one of you. I'm going to ask them to all of you always. How do your friends describe you? Bachelor number one, bachelorette number one, excuse me. <laughs> um, I would say as an uh, encourager and um, as just somebody fun who really likes to get out and have an adventure. OK, and bachelorette number two? Um, I'd say they would describe me as pretty easygoing. Um, Hopefully funny. I think I'm funny, so. <laughs> <laughs> and bachelorette number three. I get called weird and awkward quite a bit, which is all right. That's why I'm on here. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. How often do you spend money on yourself? And who's this for? All, All of them. them. OK, bachelorette number one. Um, probably weekly. All right. 
Number two? Uh, it depends what it is. If it's food, probably daily. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that. Number three? I buy a lot of food as well. Okay. <laughs> so they, they treat themselves to some tasty food, you know. Well, that's good that they eat. Yeah, it's good to survive. Number th uh, to all of you again, what is the sappiest thing a guy has said to you? Bachelorette number one. You look like a flower today. <laughs> <laughs> when it's true, it's true, you know. Number two? Um... You're not as beautiful as the, no, you're more beautiful than the moon tonight, yeah. Okay, that's kind of cute, actually. It's pretty sad. Number three? That I have nice facial bone structure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that. I didn't either. <laughs> all right, uh, to all of you again, if you're trapped in a house with Freddy Krueger, what do you do? Bachelorette number one. Run. <laughs> In what direction? Um, out the window or door. <laughs> okay. And bachelorette number two? Probably hide. Number I three? <laughs> I would also run. I am an ex cross country runner. I could win. Okay. Yeah, it's confidence. Right. What are some of your pet peeves? Bachelorette number one. He can't slurp his tea or anything. <laughs> no slurping of the tea. Never okay. good. And bachelorette number two? Being a little too cocky. Okay. And bachelorette number three? Not being direct and honest. All right. Yeah. All right, this is a two-part question. What song has been stuck in your head today? I'm just going to tell you the first part. Bachelorette number one. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, Miracle, I think, by uh, Third Day. Number two? Um, what do you mean by Justin Bieber? <laughs> <laughs> Number three? Messiah music from the concert I was in yesterday. Would you rather go to a Beyonce concert or a Taylor Swift concert? Bachelorette, number one. Taylor Swift. Number two? Yeah. Beyonce. Number three? Do I have to pick one? No. If they were at the same concert, that'd be cool. No. Okay. All right. Would you rather go to an Ed Sheeran concert or a Fall Out Boy concert? Fall Out Boy. Number two? Fall Out Boy. Fall Out Boy. Dang. Okay. Mm. And do you know who Childish Gambino is? No. Bachelorette number one? Was that a nope? Yes, that was a no. Number two? Absolutely not. Okay. Oh. What is the most embarrassing thing your parents have done in front of you? Bachelorette number one. Um, I would have to say uh, just making me stand on stage and take pictures with everybody. Okay. The traditional thing that can be embarrassing. And bachelorette number two? She tries to be funny. <laughs> Which ends up being funny, anyways. <laughs> and Bachelorette number three. We were playing charades at Christmas last year, and my dad had cannon, and he pretended to get shot and just fell over. <laughs> <laughs> but that's super cool. All right, so we only have time for one more question, okay? All right. All righty. This one or this one? Um, let's do that one. All right. What's the worst date you've been on? Bachelorette number one. Just a movie date. Those movie dates will kill you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and bachelorette number two? Um, I thought it was a date, but he didn't pay, so it was just kind of awkward. Oh. Yeah. And bachelorette number three? I got friend zoned on my last date at the beginning of the night. Oh. oh. Wow. Okay. Well, that is all the time we have for our questions today. Sorry to hear that, ladies, about the friend zone and whatnot, and the movie dates even. Um, but before our bachelor has to pick who he gets to go on his 
wonderful Jimmy John's date with, he has to eliminate two. So we're going to give you a little bit of time to think about that. Alrighty? Okay. Okay. <laughs> We are back with our bachelor and he has, he has thought about it, he has prayed about it, he was on his knees weeping to God about this. I was not. Well, he would have, but he didn't because he was here, but that's okay. All right. So who are the ladies that you just didn't feel a connection with? Who was the first one? I didn't really feel a connection with number one. All right, so bachelorette number one, head on over and meet the bachelor and give him a hug. All right, sorry about that. All right, okay, and who was the other lady that just didn't quite do anything for you? I liked her, she seemed like a good girl, but I didn't really feel it with number two. Okay, bachelorette number two, head on over. All right. Thank you. Okay. The moment we've all been waiting for. Bachelorette number three, head on over and meet your date to the jimmiest of Johns. Hey, Yay. How are you? Okay. Nice to meet you. I'm Sam. I'm Sam. Yay. Nice to meet you well, you can come right over here and before we end the night and give you your free free meals to Jimmy John's, we have to end the night with a dating game kit. So everyone pucker up. One, two, three, mwah! <laughs> Thank you. 